Well, Bonobo is in the news again, and um, I think another person has an opinion on why he didn't win the Grammy, who is Shade Ladipo, a media personality. Shade Ladipo does not agree, and she addressed it in a video. In the video shared on Instagram, Shade Ladipo said that even Bonan knows that. It's an honor to be nominated in the same category as the legend, legendary Angelic Kijo. She also stated that it takes more than two albums and four touring the U.S. to win the Grammy. Mm. So I think um, there are <laughs> a lot of things she pointed out here. She yeah. said um, it's touring is full. That is, yeah. it's not real. Like Exactly. The, that was like, for me, I felt like that was like the highlight of her post. Exactly. Because that was then, like shade. And then saying that um, Angelic Kijo is if fella Anikola Bokuti, the late fellow Nicola Bokuti mm. was still alive, that he would um, be Angelic Kijo's age mate, and that's the category that no, I fella she would meant be. Age mate. No, 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 no. I she said she that. She class, said like they have the same like, like age, class, like, the yeah, impact. the same age bracket, yeah. same class, same yeah. everything, same impact, same yeah, same, impact, same yeah. thing they've done for the music industry. Mm -hmm. And yes, that yes. is totally true because true. Um, if you really want to look at it from achievement, obviously, Bonner Boy doesn't stand a chance when it comes to Angela Kijo yeah. in terms of impact in the music industry, in terms of impact across the globe with your music. Bonner Boy doesn't cut it, but it doesn't change the fact that he had a good out album. And I pointed out that. Um, <laughs> earlier that even though while judging the winners of the Grammy they would have looked at it from the aspect that I think his previous album had Angelic Kijo sampled the Wumbo 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 yeah, his sampled, previous album had then he now featured Angelic Kijo again so tracks. obviously she's one of his musical influences mm -hmm. so it's not going to be so hard to infuse that into why they would actually give yeah. their award to um, Angelic Kijo. And of course, Angelic Kijo is deserving of yeah, the award, regardless of how you want to look at it. But people having opinions is just my problem. Like, can we just move past this? Okay, he lost the award to Angelic Kijo. We know she's a legend, but why does everyone want to have an opinion right now? Like, before, when he was nominated, why were you not coming out to say all of this, that, oh, Bonner Boy can't win? And let's see you as somebody who is prophesying, but, or somebody who has seen the future. But don't be coming out now that is lost. It makes it look like it's from a bitter place, if you ask me. Personally, I'm tired of the obsession with the Grammys. I'm tired of the obsession. Okay, Bonner Boy did not win the Grammy. Okay, can we move on now? I'm tired of different people having different opinions. Okay, this is why Bonner Boy didn't win the Grammy. Oh, I wish Bonner Boy had won the Grammy. He did not get the Grammy. Let us focus on our own award show and making our own award show something that younger artists already established artists can look forward to. I feel like sometimes you can be very, very obsessed with um, international awards. I understand it. Mm. But I feel like we should not really be too obsessed because, you know, when Lion Arts 2 did not make the Oscars list, mm. everybody was in their mouth, everybody was frothing at their mouth. Why didn't, I mean, come on, please. Let's just focus on making our own award show standard. Let's bring the standard up so that it can be an, uh, a sh uh, an award that people look forward to. And if they have that award, they feel like, okay, yeah, I kind of got but Bonobo once said in an interview with Ibuka that um, he thinks international awards are more credible because you know you deserve the award. Yeah, we can make our it. own award shoes more credible. Um, let me, sorry, let me, let me, let me dis disagree with you a little bit on that. You're talking about the Grammys. The Grammys is the biggest, in fact, it's uh. the world-renowned music award in the entire world. So there's, there's no show, there's no award we can possibly put together. As, 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 as a country, Nigeria, that's going to surpass the Grammys. I'm it's not, not possible. To, I'm that not is, that is, agree with you. No, no, the Grammy. The, 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 what is the another, Grammy? Let's define what the Grammy is. another continent, Asia. Do you know the Asian music? The Grammy they is, no, listen, the, Grammy is the world. You just, you just referred to a continent. Huh. The Grammy is the entire continent, the seven continents. Yes. Don't you get it? How many so times? Africa can Grammy, come together. Many, no, listen. Many, let me, let me, let me, let me make my point. Let me make my point. Oh, Africa can come together. We have Cora. Is, is there going to be any nomination to the people in other continents in that, in that, in that award mm. for in Cora? Mm. The Grammy has every continent covered. That is the biggest award show in the entire world. I feel like the Grammy so it is, is the biggest deal. It is, well. it is a big deal. Now, my issue is people should understand this. I mean, and that category was not, like we said yesterday, it's not Afrobeat. It's, mm. it's the world. It's the world. All right. And globally, Angelique Kijo is more recognized 
than Bonner Boy is. Is Bonner doing a fantastic job? Yes. And I agree with Shadi on a few things she pointed out, why she brought out this argument, this contemplation. Bonner has just two albums, right? Yeah. And he's just touring. And the kid has, and, but she said she has so body. Touring. She has body of works yeah, beyond Bonner Boy. Huge. You know, and so there, there's no ground for comparison. I think I feel a little bit insulted on behalf of Ajani Kijo when we're comparing Ajani Kijo and Bonner Boy. There's no grounds for there's comparison. No, there's no comparison. You know, so let's be, let's be happy for Bonner Boy. That nomination was for recognition. That is a big deal for Bonner Boy. Yeah. But I'm not going you know? to let go of the full touring. So who thinks that all these tours that they go for in the United States of America, e Europe tour and all of that, that it's all fake? Well, well what I, what I've heard about a few of those tours by some artists that actually, for some of them, they're like, they go to tours in like very public pub, pubs, like bars, mm. you know, and it's all part of a tour, it's touring. <laughs> so what she, what Shavin means by that, I, I don't know if, if Bonner has any of those, but a few of other artists we know, they don't necessarily go sell out stadiums in those countries. They yeah, go, they, go, they sing in private gigs and all that stuff. Yeah, it's true. all part of touring. And they never get to show us those tours. Mm. So it's one or two that is major, they show. Mm. But you're telling me you're touring um, Europe, you mentioned the cities in Europe, and I don't get to see all of those cities you're sure. touring in Europe. Mm. So yeah. she's not totally wrong. She's not and totally wrong about that. And are you selling out stadiums? Yeah. Before you can say, okay, I'm touring different cities. Okay, so I think we should stop being lied to and um, artists, please. If you're just doing small gigs, just put it out there that you're having small gigs in other parts of the world and not call it a tour.